Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited. Today's video I will be talking about some books for Pride Month this month. So this video is going to be a little bit mishmashed in that there are going to be some books that I've read that I am recommending and then a couple books that I have not read that I am hoping to read for Pride Month this month. Um, also, some of these books are contemporary, but not all of them are, because I have recently found some non-contemporary uh, LGBTQ plus friendly books that is really exciting, because I've been like looking for fantasies where the main character is not always just like straight. I finally found some, and so I would like to share them with you, so this will be multiple different genres. But that's not to say that I don't have contemporaries, and my first recommendation is a contemporary, and it is Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. This is a book where um, a girl from the States has always wanted to go to Scotland, and so she decides that she's going to go to college in Scotland, and she ends up being roommates with uh, one of the uh, princesses in the royal family, and it is an enemies to lover, and I loved it and it's just such a cute like enemies to lovers they spend so much time with the enemies though so that when you finally get to them being in a relationship it's like so satisfying the next contemporary I have to recommend I've recommended so many times so I won't talk about it that much but that is red white and royal blue by Casey McQuiston I'm sure if you haven't heard about this book then I don't know how you've managed to get by without it because not only do I love it, but so many other people here love it, and it is about um, the Prince of Wales and the son of the female president of the United States, and they hate each other. It's another enemies to lovers, um, but then it also has like long distance relationship, and there's just such a thick political element to it. Um, I and there were so many times where I burst out laughing just in the middle of like a public area when I was listening to the audiobook and I know that's been true for some other people as well so if you've heard of it but you just haven't picked it up yet why you definitely should if it sounds even remotely interesting because it was hilarious it was fun it was a tearjerker seriously the last contemporary that I'm going to suggest is The Love and Lies of Rukshana Ali this is such a beautiful story. It is about uh, a girl, Rukshana Ali, and she is secretly gay, and she has a girlfriend, and she is trying to get up the courage to talk to her family about it, although they know that they won't receive it well, until she's actually caught with her girlfriend, and then her parents decide to send her back to Bangladesh and try and get her to either marry a guy or just admit that she's not gay or just some some sort of correctional um, action towards her and she's like guys that's, that's just not how it works but it's just such such an emotional story of a girl and her family at first not accepting her but then being forced to go to her parents home and kind of learn where they come from and spend more time in their culture and it's 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 a good one. I think it was a solid three star, but I but I could see how it could be four star. Like it it was a really it was a solid book and I just love the intertwining of like culture as well as like like a modern day American teenager and then add relationships and oh, it was a whole mishmash of fun. And then next I'll have three fantasy-esque books to talk to you guys about. The first one is a recent read and it is called Labyrinth Lost and it's by Zoré de Cordova. And this is the first in the trilogy and I'm currently listening to the second in the trilogy. Uh, the trilogy is called The Brooklyn Brujas and it is about this girl who her family is a family of brujas which is the Spanish word would for which but they're slightly different because, you know, they're not like witches, they're, they're brujas. Now, an interruption from an outside person. Hello. Uh, I am Laura's husband. You might have seen me on a couple other videos. I listened to the very end of this, uh, Trapped in the Car with Laura. 
It was pretty good. Trapped in a car. It was enjoyable. Highly recommend. He even started listening to the second book with me, so... Anyway, so our main character, Alex, knows that she has power, but she really doesn't want it. She's not interested in being a bruja with the rest of her family. And so when it come time for her death day, her day where all of her ancestors and family can gather around her and give her a blessing to help her control her power as well as like gain more power, um, she decides that she's going to try and get rid of it. And instead, she kind of gets rid of her entire family. So now she has to travel to the mythical land of Los Lagos to get her family back because, um, oops. I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I won't spoil too much about the romance plot in it, especially because at first she seems like she's straight, but then later on you discover, oh, maybe she isn't. I believe she's a bi main character. And, oof, oof, no. The romance plots in this book are especially interesting because let's just say that every element of the book has twists and turns. Moving on, I would like to mention Master of One. This is a fantasy by Jada Jones and Danielle Bennett, and this follows a thief named Rags who is forced to discover a fey relic for the enchanter who works for like the king of the land or whatever. And he discovers that the relic he needs to find is not a physical piece of something, but is this really attractive, like, ancient, but young looking dude who is, who is like an elf. Um, and so you, you see where, you see where it's pride friendly there, don't you? Um, but yes, no, they have to go through and they have to find all these different uh, people and relics and do something with it. I, I had a hard time with the book, but I also knew that if I had focused on it a little bit more, it probably would have been a better book. And I know a lot of other people have liked it, so if it somewhat sounds interesting, go ahead and pick it up and let me know what I missed. And then the last book that I have to recommend, um, also fantasy, is one that I actually sat down and listened to the audiobook in one sitting. It was, whew, like we just went through it so quickly, but we just couldn't stop. And that book was Girl, Serpent, Thorn by Melissa Bachardost. And this was really good. I rated it five stars. It definitely wasn't like perfect, but, but it just, it gave me like the feels of a five star book. Like by the end of it, I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my word, so much happened. There's so much political intrigue. There is so much romance. Our main character, Soraya here, has the curse of being poisonous to the touch. And so she's kind of kept hidden away in the castle so that she doesn't actually accidentally touch and kill anybody. And because of this, she finds out that her brother is getting married and she's like, I really want to be there. And so she tries to go and figure out what is behind her curse and how to stop it. So this features a bi main character as well. Alrighty, and then for the second part of this video, there are just two books that I would like to talk about that I want to read this month for Pride. I'm only giving myself two to read for Pride because there is so much happening in June for me. Um, I would love to read more and I think I might, but I also don't want to say I'm going to read like these 10 books and then only end up reading like two of them. So I'm hoping that this is a realistic kind of pride themed TBR for myself. Um, yeah, cause I've just, I've been planning for so many things and then I don't actually sit down and read anything. But anyway, the books that I want to read, Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is because um, the one of the sisters in it, I believe, is, I don't know if she's gay or bi, but she has a girlfriend and she has to talk to her newfound family about it. So this book, if you don't know, is about uh, one girl who lives in the States and one girl who lives in the Dominican Republic 
and through a plane crash, they found out that one of the people on that plane was their father and that they're actually half siblings. And so they come together after finding this out and they have to grieve this man's death who they don't actually think they knew that well if apparently they have a sister in a different country. But I think it's going to be very emotional. It's, it's going to be so interesting and so much fun. Um, so I, I'm wanting to read that one, but then I'm also wanting to read, and I've said this for a little bit now, and I kept thinking like, oh, I'll, I'm going to be so excited when I get to it that I'm, I'm just going to read it, no problem. And then, you know, of course, here I am. I bought it months, months ago, and I still haven't read it. Um, but that is You Should See Me in a Crown, and this is by Leah Johnson. And this is about a girl who wants to go to college, but she really needs a scholarship in order to do so. And she finds out that prom queen actually gives you a scholarship. So then she's like, all right, I'm going to become prom queen. I am going to campaign and prepare and I'm going to be prom queen. And then all of a sudden this new girl at school shows up. And uh, I think the main character might be a little bit interested, but that also might foil her plans just a bit as well. Um, I believe this takes place in a town where queer students are not accepted and so I think for her to want to take this new girl to the prom is going to be very difficult, very sad, and that's probably what's ruining her chances to be prom queen, but I really hope she gets to be prom queen and just... so. So those are just the two books that I want to read during the month of June for Pride. Yeah, comment down below what you're reading in June, whether or not it is queer friendly. I would really love to know what you guys are reading and just talk to you down in the comments. So feel free to comment your current read, what you want to read, anything along those lines. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that I can know that you liked it. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell for notifications. I post every week on Thursday-ish. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, but until then, I wish you all a happy reading. Thank you.